Uh, and you can't have a comment about this without understanding things in a slightly bigger picture. I've already commented on uh, the situations in gambling casinos. The games of chance that are played in casinos have varying degrees of success. Blackjack continues to be a, a favorable one. Roulette's not all that bad. Others are terrible. And why people play them, I have no idea. But the best that you can do is in the high 80s. So in other words, every time you bet a dollar in a casino, you expect to lose a little more than a dime. So why do people do this? Why? You know, why, why how, how can there possibly be casinos? Why? I mean, if you have an ounce of brains, why would you do this? And actually, I know some people who have brains <coughs> who go to casinos regularly. And they say, I go to casinos. I, 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 I have a budget. And when I lose this amount, I say, that's it. And I, I, I say, how can you do that? And he say, do you ever go to a concert? I said, well, yeah, occasionally. How much do you pay for the tickets? Well, uh, last time I went to Bruce Springsteen, it cost me like $90 a seat, and I was up in the nosebleed section. And you paid parking, yeah, and you paid for some refreshments. So you spent $200. Okay, I lost $200. What's the difference? Well, to me, uh, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't... I couldn't rationalize that. And he said, and, and, and he said okay, and every now and then, I, I, so I draw the line at what I, I will never lose any more than I would pay for a concert. Okay, but every now and then, I win $1,000. And I, it makes me feel really good. What, what can you say? All right, so I have, again... Yeah, don't do this. To be a, be more sensible. I, I would be remiss if I didn't comment about lotteries. Uh, lotteries are a giant ripoff. Uh, if you try to do that in the real world, they throw you in jail. But states can get away with just about anything. The the return on I mean, you can just sit down and and, and calculate them on most of the games that are available. If you go online and go to the Georgia Lottery or go into a grocery store, uh, you, most of the games, they have fixed things. You pay a certain amount and you scratch off the, you look at the results and you determine whether you win or lose. And, and, you, and you expect to lose, oh, like 18, 20% on every, every one of these games. The big money makers, are these mega millions and Powerball lotteries and the multi-state ones too, where the jackpot sometimes get up to 300, 400 million. The return on these are a little bit more difficult to calculate because they're what are called paramutual wagers. In other words, the, the amount that you win depends on the amount that is bet. And, and depending on what state you live in, trying to get all the records uh, and, and pour through them. I, I did this extensively in the state of Georgia soon after I came here because I was interviewed on several television stations about the lottery. And uh, the return was around 50 cents. So in other words, on these big money wagers, when you invest a dollar, you expect to get a half of it back. Not 90% of it, not 88%, half of it. Now, people do it anyway, but if you do it, you, you should do it because you support the cause that the lottery is making money for. And, and in, in Georgia, the lottery is for two purposes. One, it provides a very nice salary for a small number of people who work for the Georgia Lottery Commission. 
And I mean very, very nice salary. So the highest paid, quote, public employees in the state of Georgia are those who work for the Georgia Lottery. They dwarf even the governor and professors and everything working for the lottery, and especially the person who is the head of it. Okay, but after that, the revenue from the lottery goes uh, to higher education and uh, special computing equipment and good causes. So many people uh, play the Georgia lottery knowing and understanding that, and they, they, they say, okay, I'm making a donation, a charitable donation, and I'm having a little fun along the way. So I guess if it's kept in context, uh, that's fine. Unfortunately, there's a sizable fraction of our population in the state of Georgia that invest on a regular basis $60, $800 per week on these kinds of things out of a revenue source that they can't afford. And that's, that's a real uh, travesty. And I, I wish it weren't the case, but, but it is. Okay, so what we have done today is a, a little taste of probability to set the mathematical framework. When we get back together on Thursday, we're going to do some applications of probability to, to algorithms uh, and to things which are very much of interest to computer scientists. I'll bring your test papers. You're going to bring your homework stuff, right? Okay, good. I'll see you on Thursday.